In older Blender versions the grid option in the snap menu would only snap in grid increments, but not necessarily to the grid itself. So if we created geometry that was not already positioned exactly on a grid line, then placing it on the grid was tedious. A typical example would be the situation after making a loop cut like this. If we now try to position the loop cut with the snap to grid option on, we can't get it to match the grid but it will rather move in the increments of a grid unit. In Blender 2.76 we get absolute grid snapping, which comes in really handy, especially in situations where you want to have exact dimensions, for example when modeling something based on blueprints. I can decide for example that one grid unit is 10 cm and set up the grid system accordingly. Then I can turn on the absolute grid snapping button in order to always snap to the grid, to keep the wall thickness consistent. If we need to create a loop cut, we can make it with Ctrl R, and then quickly snap the cut to the grid by moving it. This small feature makes accurate modeling much easier in many situations. For example, it's now really easy to create a wall that will always have the same thickness. Thanks for watching and see you next time on 1minutevideotutorials.com.